How do you do, y'all? Tables here. Uh, we are under the weather, and it sucks. I got a cold this weekend. I did. I did get tested for COVID. It's not COVID. So that's always good news, I feel like. But that's more or less why my voice is all jacked up right now, because I've been... Ah! I don't know what that was, and I'm dead. I have no idea. That was the weirdest chicken scream I, I think I've ever um, I think I've ever done. Uh, we'll just pretend it never happened. As you all know, I am the editor, and um, we will just we'll just take it out. You know, like it's it, it's gone. Just I'm just gonna shut up. So I've been I've been sick. I've been trying to recover. I took off Friday and I took off yesterday. I I, I went back to work uh, today. So I took some time off work and I I recuperated and whatnot. And now we're here. It is the last day of the beta. Oh, by the way, y'all, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please, you know, like, share, subscribe. I uh, know that most of my viewers are not subbed to the channel at the moment. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, please hit me with a little bit of support. Everything, every little bit helps. So beta's on its final day, y'all. We got about 19 hours left. You know, this video was really supposed to be more so dedicated. There we go. More so dedicated to my thoughts, more or less. And shit. Oh, okay. Okay. And I gotta tell you, I don't, I don't see this game being worth $60. Not in its current state. There's a lot wrong with the game as it stands. A lot of design design decisions that I just don't I don't feel like are really all there. I don't know why they decided to do these things. I don't know what's driving it. To be frank, um, for the most part, you know, I think that they are somewhat seeking to kind of destroy destroy quick scoping you know, as a whole in this game. Now, whether that's a philosophy that'll bleed into other gods. I mean, that, that kind of remains to be seen at this point. But I know for, for this company in particular, Sledgehammer, I mean, I think I think they're, I think they've pretty well made up their mind, you know? And that's, that's kind of unfortunate because I feel like it's such a large part of the culture. I really hate to see it go by the wayside because, uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people do consider it OP, but I, I've always found it the most enjoyable and to be frank for everyone for everyone that says oh it's op sniping is too easy um i always tell those people to just pick up a sniper and let's see how good you are because i guarantee you it's not as easy as you think the people that are that good the people that excel they spend countless hours getting as good as they are <clears throat> their skill is is a is a reflection of and a reward of that time spent it's definitely harder to snipe in this in this one i would say personally than it is in cold war cold war is just built different it really is built different um and i think that's a good thing this is certainly more like modern warfare but at the same time it, it still it still feels considerably different than modern warfare in a big way i had no issues quick scoping in modern warfare but for this game in particular definitely having a bit of a hard time you, you have to understand like if you're watching this video like this is this is always going to be from the perspective of a quick scoper and sniper and cod because uh, at the end of the day that's what i do that's what i love <clears throat> that is why i play cod and so to have that to have that taken from me is is a little bit hard for me to swallow but it's not just the it's not just the the hard the, the sniping you know it's the decision to put in doors and shutters and i don't like the map design so far um hotel royale is uh, barely a good map um it's probably the best map out of the three i think the ttk is absolutely way off base it's it's pretty much hardcore in that sense and i i just i don't think a lot of care was taken into you know what they really wanted out of this game in my opinion i feel much more like a beta tester right it feels like the qc just wasn't there the movement's janky the aiming is janky um the ttk is way too way too um fast doors shutters <clears throat> just spawn rates very specifically spawn rates um are just horrifically bad there's just it's just it's not a complete game i don't know if they can fix all this in two months i hope they can and perhaps the launch of the game will be considerably different that kind of remains to be seen 
<laughs> but that's kind of where I'm at with COD. There are, there are some good things. The game runs incredibly well. It runs smooth. There's no stutters. There's no shutters. Um, it just... It's, it's really a good experience on PC. And I, I honestly felt the same way about uh, Cold War and Modern Warfare, but regardless of whether it runs smooth or not, this game, in my opinion, is could very well just be a mod of MW19. And I don't I don't say that lightly. I mean, it's got the same, same damn movement, for crying out loud. It's pretty much almost got the same gameplay. The only thing that's really different is the TTK. I don't know, I just, I have, more issues with this game than I do uh, positives. And at the end of the day, that's that's what it comes down to. The pros versus cons. It just, the, the cons severely outweigh it. And so that's, that's more or less why I, I think it's not worth, it's not worth your $60 right now. And I, I would seriously consider whether you feel it's justified for them to have your money. Forget about the notion of it's something new to play. I want you to get that out of your mind because at the end of the day, these these companies, these developers, they're a business. Okay. They're, they're gonna run their game in a way to, to, to get the most money possible it's it's partly up to the customer a business is going to do what a business does and at a certain point it's up to the customer to say you know what i'm not going to give you my money and that's that's obviously for every uh every person that's your decision to make but i'm i'm torn between being a content creator content creator i.e some guy who just puts his opinions out on youtube I'm, I'm torn between playing something that's new and riding the wave or you know taking a stand on 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 the path of principle and do i really want to give them my money have they have they earned it i don't believe that they have but the other side of me wants to buy it and wants to make content for it despite the the sniping being nerfed and i think that's a question that yeah. a lot of gamers need to ask themselves because if we stopped giving them money i guarantee you that the quality of the product would improve they've it's been it's honestly been been ran into the ground for so long something's gotta something's gotta break the camel's back so that's where i'm at with this game i don't think it's worth 60 dollars. i'm not gonna tell you whether or not it's worth your time because i don't know you i don't know any of you so you take what i say with a grain of salt either you like it or you don't and you make the decision and that's that's essentially what it comes down to now on another note moving forward you know say we don't buy cod i think primarily We'll, we'll we'll be doing Warzone and Cold War content. I really enjoy doing the the, the the comms, just talking, cutting, editing, and putting it out. You know, I feel like I, I can just be myself. I can just say what I want to, and hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. So it'll be a lot of Warzone. It'll be a lot of Call of uh, Cold War. And it'll be a fair amount of Rocket League. And absolutely, it's going to be a lot of New World. I am going to be playing New World when it drops. We're absolutely going to be playing New World. I'm very excited about New World and what it has to offer. We'll be doing this style of commentary with a, with a bunch of different games. But I haven't fully decided if any of those games are going to be... I haven't decided if any of those games are in fact going to be Vanguard. The game is fun, but I don't think it's 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 enough fun to warrant me spending sixty dollars. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm not. I'm probably not going to be doing like a ton of guides or anything like that. We may do some, but it's mostly just going to be my thoughts. That's kind of what I want this channel to be. I just want to get on here and talk with people. I mean, if you guys like it, sub. If not, you know, have a good life. That's kind of that's kind of what I'm about. Me shake really jacked me up. Yeah, that that little that little head glitch is not gonna save you, my guy. It's just that easy, boys. So with that said, it's probably gonna be kind of a short video, I'm afraid tonight, y'all, because I do want to just kind of relax tonight since I am still sick. I'm gonna leave y'all for now. This is the last video that I'm gonna upload of Vanguard um, for the beta. So you guys have my final thoughts on the beta. I don't. I, I really don't want to be super negative about it, but it's they haven't really given me a ton to be super positive about, as far as I'm concerned. And I I hate being like super super negative, but I mean I can only give you my opinion, and that's pretty much what this channel is for you know, to be able to talk to you guys and give my opinion on things and 
and hope that it's uh you know somewhat well well received as far as you know be regurgitating my thoughts so anyways last video this is the last beta video for vanguard we're gonna move on to pull five put a little, little cold war something something in the coming days probably before friday or around friday at some it's at, at some point i'll see y'all on the next one be good be good to each other i'll talk to you guys soon bye